Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is LB the Billist. This is another episode of Surrealistic Studios, where the surreal is real. Now, do me a favor. Before I even start this video, give me a thumbs up. Give me a subscribe if you haven't already so you can stay in tune and keep up with my latest work. And, um, well, get ready. So, this video, I wanted to touch upon all of the shootings that, that are going on. I'm not going to speak on any one shooting specifically unless there's a certain point that I want to bring up but we have all these shootings going on and we've had two of the worst shootings in, in American history in the past what month or so it's ridiculous we just had the shooting in uh, Sutherland Springs Texas the church shooting which 26 people lost their lives uh, among those 12 to 14 of those were children we had the shooting in Las Vegas at the Mandalay Bay which my aunt works at Luckily, she wasn't there that night or when it happened. Um, hundreds of people were injured and, what, 40, 50 some odd people were killed on that night or that day. Uh, we had the shooting or the, the truck incident in New York City. I mean, this shit is just ridiculous. The Newtown shooting, everyone brings up because of all the children that were killed. Some people call it a false flag. Some people say the Las Vegas thing was a false flag. I really can't tell it. I can't call it. I don't know if it is a false flag or not. All I know is people are, they, they really are losing their lives. So whether you want to call Las Vegas or a, fa a, fa a false flag or Newtown a false flag, whatever you want to call it, people really are going into places and shooting them up. This is really happening. I just, I just talked to somebody who told me that in Bakersfield, California, where I just left from two, three years back, somebody ran in, ran up into somebody's house, kicked the door in, shot her, and shot her two babies. Small kids, four or five years old, one of them died. The mom's going to want to die. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous the level of evil, for lack of a better word or for lack of a better term, the level of evil that's in this world right now is just, it's unbelievable to the point where I have to start speculating on what's causing these occurrences. Why is it that we're getting so many shootings nowadays? Now, you can say that there's always been evil, there's always been killings, yeah, sure, but why are they so prevalent nowadays? Why are we always talking about shootings in America? every other day and to be quite frank it's more than just a gun issue it's not just about gun control I truly believe that there's something more nefarious going on it, it has to be something else to this now like I said in my previous video I can get a little conspiratorial I could say that there's something in the air chemtrails what are they spraying up there what what where did we have all these intersecting lines in the air like maybe 10 years ago 15 years ago 20 years ago i heard that they're doing it because of uh the climate change is getting warmer so they're doing it to cool off the atmosphere or to protect us or something like that i don't know somebody please jump in the comment section below and let me know what those damn things are i haven't studied the issue myself i read i read a couple of pieces about it years ago but i never really came to grips with it is it something in our food is it ge genetically modified organisms gmos they said GMOs are safe, according to the studies that came out. As of now, they're safe, as far as they know. But I don't trust that shit. I want my shit natural. From the ground, no GMOs, no, none of that bullshit that they add to make it something else. I want the, I want the real deal, the OG. I mean, what, what is it? Is it truly a mental, a mental health issue, just like President Donald Trump said or suggested? It has to be a part of it, right? There's something wrong with these people that would go into a movie theater or that would go into a school or a church or, or whatever 
a hotel, a casino, and just murder people for no reason. To take away babies from their moms and to take the moms away from their babies. It just makes no sense at all. I know that there's evil in the world, but this is just on another level in 2017. For these past few years, it's just been outrageous. And I don't think that it's just an issue of assault rifles. I'm sorry. That's just not smart to me. Yes, a lot of these times assault rifles were used. But to just ban the assault rifle is not going to stop the evil of men. You have to dig deeper into the situation. You have to think more. What's causing people to go crazy? I honestly think the world would be a lot better of a place if we, first of all, legalized cannabis all across the United States. Legalize it. Take it off the schedule. At least lessen the schedule. Stop these, these wars, these endless wars and drone strikes and murdering people in the streets of America. Stop killing unarmed citizens. Stop making... This shit okay. You're, you're, you're constructing a society in which death is okay. In which murder is just as prevalent as breathing or as rain. Hey, killed another black guy today. Hey, got rain again. I just did a story on how they killed a native boy, 14 years old in Wisconsin. 14 years old. You know who called the police on him? He did. He was the one who called the police. And they shot him dead. No taser. But all these other people, these terrorists, these people that shoot up movie theaters and churches, they get taken alive most of the time. So this is just a a fucked up situation. This is a fucked up time that we're living in. When you hear that other nations, other developed nations, are, they don't have the same problems that we do. And maybe it's a mental health issue. Maybe, maybe we would lessen the deaths if we did get rid of assault weapons. But there's still a deep issue that's deeply ingrained within American society that breeds hate that breeds this kind of behavior. There's a reason that these things are going on. The way they're going on. How much they're occurring. How often they're occurring. I'm not claiming to have all the answers. I don't think anybody does. All I know is that we have to have a collective evolution. Like I said, we have to have a collective evolution of the mind, of the heart, and of the spirit. As a collective people before we're able to solve the many problems of this world because until we can change ourselves we ain't gonna change shit we gotta change the way we are and little by little hopefully it will get better so this has just been a little speculation on my part I didn't want to make this video too long because I can I can go on for a little bit about this but um Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. Like this video, give me a thumbs up for at least attempting to speculate. And give me a share if you feel as though it's necessary. Follow me on all social media. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already so you can keep up with my antics and my stories. I will try to bring you more stories. I just actually took some days off from one of my jobs so that I can specifically put more time into this. And just put more time into living and being happy because in, in, in today's society, you never know when your happiness will be taken away either by a crazy person with a gun or by the government themselves, other crazy people with guns. And with all that being said, you guys have a wonderful day, night. I'll catch you guys on the next one. All right. Love, peace and chicken grease, my peeps.